It's the all-new Sports Visions with Dale Williams and DJ Jones, your 1980 national champions. 1980 and 81 SEC champions, two damn good dogs. Welcome to the all-new Sports Visions. I'm DJ Jones alongside my good friend and traveling partner, Dale Williams. How are you? What's up, player? Hey, man, congratulations. I think you're in the wrong business, dude, because you said that Philadelphia was going to win the world championship, and they did. Oh, well, you know, DJ, a bad <laughs> clock right twice a day, man. So, you know. All right, coming up in just a little bit, we have an opportunity to recap the uh, the Super Bowl as well. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about these newest Hall of, uh, Hall of Fame inductees locally as well as in the National Football League. It's a great class, man, especially the uh, the NFL class. I thought that was a, they did a great job for a change. Absolutely, and again, congratulations to the Philadelphia Eagles, man. I'm, you know what? Uh, they they I guess they rewrote history because it's been <laughs> such a long time. I'm so happy for those folks in Philadelphia. I mean, it's, it's great, man, and really I think thank for the, thankful for the Eagles because, DJ, there is parity in the NFL. All right. We'll call, have a whole lot more next on Sports Visions. Every remaining 2017 commercial vehicle must go now at Headquarter Nissan. Over 30 vehicles to choose from, all with a lifetime warranty, all priced to sell. Now drive a new cargo van, closeout price just $26,990, or a new compact cargo van just $18,985. Plus, get a lifetime warranty, identity protection, and much more, all at no extra cost. You feel like you bought from the factory. And welcome back to Sports Visions. I'm proud to uh, have with us right now. And one of the young men that I think has done an excellent job. I've been following his career both on the field and off the field. Most recently, just so proud of what he's doing in the community. Uh, I want to introduce you to Jonathan Bam Rivers. Welcome to Sports Visions, man. I appreciate it, DJ. Thank you for having me, man. Again, uh, I tell you what, you know, that Bam part of it uh, is with a good reason. He was a, a heck of a linebacker and, and he used to <laughs> blow guys up out at Shaw High School and he played over at Auburn as well. Absolutely, absolutely. So how you been? I've been blessed, man. Just, just having the opportunity to help change lives. And like I said, I appreciate you here having me, just being able to talk about sharing my story and how we impact people here in Columbus. As I said before, I've been following this young man, uh, you know, in, during his high school career, collegiate career, and of course, most recently in his professional career and I'm just uh, enamored with the way he motivates and mentors young people and Bam I want to give you an opportunity to just explain to folks out there exactly uh, what your calling and what your title is and and how you uh, help these kids. Sure well I am a motivational speaker as well as a consultant and I'm a mentor a youth trainer and mentor my whole goal is to help people realize their purpose in life somebody once asked me you know what is your audience whom do you speak to and I say anybody with a pair of ears because anybody with a pair of ears can be helped, can be mentored, and can be changed. So I have a camp that I also do called Camp Renaissance, and this is where I develop not only the football talents and the individual skill sets of young men ages 5 all the way through 18 who are getting ready for college, but we also have what's called a Rivers Logic Session. So we sit down and we discuss what is leadership, what does it look like to you, what is character, how can you develop those traits internally to help you become a better and more important person in life and on the field. Well, one thing is for sure is that, you know, you got corporate uh, leaders that bring in uh, motivational, uh, inspirational speakers. Absolutely. Of course, coaches always right. are looking for somebody outside uh, of their organization to bring in to motivate and inspire um, their teams and, and oh, it's, it's something that's been around and obviously for you and I know that you've worked with several local groups, sports and corporate. Yes, Talk sir. to me about those experiences. Well, their experiences have been great. You know, I've had an opportunity to speak in situations such as the Virginia College graduation. I've done some professional development consulting with organizations such as Delta Data Soft here in Columbus, Georgia. And it's all about the mindset. You know, when you have individuals that are working to provide for their families and things of that nature, they need to know that the process matters. It's not simply being able to put yourself in a position to win the prize, but when you cherish the process of being better today than you were yesterday, you consistently raise the bar of excellence, and I think that's what it's about. Bam, we just uh, concluded the NFL season with the uh, Super Bowl and, of course, the, uh, the championship series. Now we're going into region. Locally, we're going into the region championship with high school basketball. Right. Let's talk sports-wise. Why is it so important, or why should coaches – uh, or leaders in this community bring guys in or people like yourself to uh, help uplift their kids? Well, I think it's not just about motivation, but it's about direction. You want these young men and these young women to understand the trajectory in their lives is predicated on how they look at life how they look at themselves in terms of their self-worth, in terms of who God has called them to be. So I just love coaches that allow me to come in and just speak life into them and let them know that, listen, there's no such thing as self-entitlement. 
If you want something, you have to work for it. Nobody in this life owes you anything but you. And when you have that realization, you're taking that step to reaching the ultimate goal of winning a state championship. You are past uh, former football player. Why don't you explain or help, under, help us understand how playing football, the game of football, help you when you speak now? Absolutely. Well, one, I think about camaraderie when I think about football. I also think about adversity because if you look at any type of football game, DJ, there's a serious opportunity for people to learn from their mistakes, right? You may miss a tackle, you may throw an interception, you may get down 30 points in the second quarter, but are you willing to put your head down and keep moving? Because just as that situation was not advantageous to you, the flip, the script opportunity can come for you. But you have to think about if I flip the script, I have to do it internally first. And then if you're that aide and that individual that does it, you can get everybody around you feeling that way as well. See, success is a virus. And you have to make it contagious to people. And the only way you can do it is to look at yourself in the mirror and say, listen, no matter what the situation is, I am not going to let this situation be tougher than I am. I'm going to be a victor over my circumstances rather than I'm a victim of my circumstances. I know we have just a few more minutes in this, but, you know, there's some folks out there looking and say, oh, he, he plays a football player. He's a sports guy. It doesn't relate to me. Man, this goes over into all, all walks of life. Absolutely. It does. And that's the thing about it. You know, life is a great teacher and so is sports. Okay, I heard I spoke with a man a long time ago and he said, you know, in classes we take tests to learn lessons, but in life we go through lessons to take tests. And it's something that you really have to understand. So sports is a teacher and I just love to teach and motivate other individuals. Well, Bam, keep doing what you're doing, man. I'm keep following up. We got to bring you back because obviously uh, this thing here uh, is synonymous with what we do at Sports Vision. So I'd love to get the encouragement. Obviously, you motivate Dale and I. And uh, hey, I'm sure that uh, some of the folks that are watching right now might have an opportunity. Before we go quickly, give them the, how they can contact you. Absolutely. You can go to my website at www.jonathanbamrivers.com. You can contact me directly at 706-593-7800. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at jbamrivers. We'll be right back after this. Come on out to the office sports bar and grill. Whether meeting up with friends, colleagues, or family, you will feel right at home. We have live music from local artists, happy hour from four to six daily, and outstanding daily specials. The Office Sports Bar and Grill is not your typical sports bar. Come eat and drink like a boss. Why is Headquarter Nissan number one? Well, that's simple, our value plan. Here, let me explain. With our exclusive value plan, you get a ton of extra value with your purchase at no extra cost. You get a lifetime warranty, plus identity protection, plus theft protection, plus key and remote replacement protection, plus paintless dent repair. We are the number one dealer offering the number one value. You feel like you bought from the factory. Hello everybody, I'm DJ Jones. You might know me from my athletic career at Carver High School at the University of Georgia or my sports broadcasting career. I know a lot of people, but when it comes to an attorney I trust, I call Forrest B. Johnson. I'm Forrest Johnson of Forrest B. Johnson and Associates. I want to let you know how proud we are to be a part of your community, a part of the Columbus community and the Phoenix, Alabama community. Consider us first. When you or any member of your family has been involved in an automobile accident, remember, car wreck, get a check. Call now, 706-223-5380. Call now. And welcome back to Sports Visions. This Super Bowl, of course, uh, we've been waiting for it. And you know what? It ended up being one heck of a game. Now, if someone would have told you that Tom Brady would have thrown for 505 yards, three TDs, scored 33 points, and New England still lost, no in the world, you would have believed him. No, nah, I wouldn't have believed that, DJ. <laughs> I wouldn't have believed that at all. But, you know, really, man, I think with both sides of the ball, I mean, you, you know, 33 points ought to be enough to win a Super Bowl. But, you know, the Eagles scored 41, played lights out, and they remained aggressive the whole game, DJ. And I think uh, Doug Peterson did a great job of coaching these guys and his attitude rubbing off on his player because they were aggressive the whole game. The great story of an underdog winning. And you know what? America loves an underdog. And when you talk about uh, Doug Peterson, the coach there, as well as Nick Foles, the quarterback, that just a year or so ago he was talking about hanging his cleats up. <laughs> you know, and to come back and have this triumphant day. Uh, it's just a, it's just a miracle. It's it's a, it's a great thing, and uh, it's I think it's good for sports. It's great for sports, DJ. And looking at you know the, the Nick Foles piece was so big, man. I mean this guy played like he play, he was playing all year. He played with calmness. He played with some daring. Some, some you know he was daring throwing the ball in windows that I didn't think he could throw. I mean and really he was aggressive. He took on the same attitude that Doug Peterson did. 
and he, I mean, basically DJ, they, they stayed aggressive the whole game, and he was cool as a fan throughout the game. Now, how many times have you heard over the course of the past few years that all you got to do is get Tom Brady off of his spot? You know, you got to have a bull rush up the middle and, and this and that. You got to go after him. You have to go after him. You know what? Uh, that was true, but at the same time, Tom Brady – he sliced him up, man. Five, over 500 yards in a, in, a, in a defeat, you know. I mean, That's still, crazy. he is the GOAT. Well, he's still a man, DJ, but I think really one thing that I was afraid for the Eagles for, they didn't continue to have a little relentless pressure on Tom Brady. They were just sending four, DJ. They didn't blitz the linebacker. They didn't blitz anybody extra because they, they had confidence that they could get to him with four. But they didn't get to him until the end of the game, DJ. So, basically, Tom was still back picking them apart. I mean, 505, he would know if they were in man, he knew that. He knew where he was going to throw the ball before he even got there, getting getting the ball out of his hand fast like he always do. He didn't do anything, you know, unlike Tom Brady. But, you know, again, at the end of the game, that's when the defensive line stood up for the Eagles. And I think Eagles playing, on, playing to win the game. I think their attitude really won the game for them. Now we could talk and go back and forth, and you know, from of course Nick Foles' MVP performance uh, to the great Tom Brady. But you know what? The sixty-four thousand dollar question that I have is: What in the world happened to Malcolm? What is Malcolm's last name? Butler. Malcolm Buckner. Folks, now just as quickly as I forgot that last name, this is a guy who was a cornerback that played ninety plus percent of the defensive plays. Coach Belichick decided to bench him this time around in this game and didn't play, only played on special teams. I can't, and he won him a Super Bowl several years ago. Well, you know, DJ, hopefully we'll find that out before this show airs what really happened. You know, for a guy to be one of your top corner, top defensive player, not to play at all in a Super Bowl game, that's, that's a big question. And, you know, basically just to see him how emotional he was the day before the game, crying just you know I think he already knew that he wasn't gonna play but why I'm not gonna play I think that's what he really wanted to know and everybody knows he's an unrestricted free agent that he's gonna have an opportunity to leave but I, I just don't see it because I mean he's your best DB uh, you got carved up also on your secondary 500 yards so something has to happen but I really want to know what what happened just personally want to know what happened but I think it hurt the team they, uh, Bill Belichick hurt his team by not playing this guy. You know, again, most of the credit, or all of the credit goes to the, the Philadelphia Eagles, Doug Peterson, uh, Nick Foles, and the rest of the Eagles. However, we do know that uh, some situations are going to happen here in the next day or so, if it ain't already happened by the time the show airs, is that, right. you know, Bill Belichick is going to lose his offensive and defensive coordinator. Right. And uh, they're going to have head coaching opportunities. And uh, people are starting to speculate, you know, where will that put – Belichick, in regards to him coming back, I know Tom Brady has assured everybody that he's going to return, but uh, you know it's going to be interesting to see how your top two, your offensive coordinator, your defensive coordinator yeah. leaves, and how can you come back from that? Well, you know, uh, Rodney Harrison, who's uh, the analyst on NBC, he, he made a good point at the end of the game that the Patriots are going to have to get some new talent, and that was gonna, that's going to be very interesting because again, we always pride Belichick and saying that okay, he's going to put get players and he's going to put them in the system. But at the end of the day, he's got to get some young talent, DJ. And, you know, thank God if Tom Brady decides not to come back, I mean, that's going to be a big problem. That's going to be a hole to fill. They got defensive holes to fill. You don't have your coordinators anymore, offensively or defensively. So it's, I think it's going to, believe it or not, DJ, it might be a rebuilding process for the Patriots. And, you know, like I said, there is parity in the NFL. It's a lot of good teams that are growing. And, you know, the Patriots, it might be their time to, to take a slide, but they got to get some players, DJ. But they got a 41-year-old quarterback that wants to play several more years, man. Uh, you know, what, go figure. Mm -hmm. Tell you what we're going to do. We'll take a short break. This is Sports Visions. Hello, everybody. This is James at Headquarters Nissan. You guys got to come out here and check out our new inventory. We got over 160 vehicles in stock. We got so much going on on new cars. We got 0% for up to 72 months. We got up to $10,000 savings on Titan. 5,000 rebates on certain vehicles, you got to come out. I know it's time now for income taxes coming back. A lot of people got those income taxes. I'm going to start keeping a lot of cars in that range because I know it's people out there who don't want that $15,000, $20,000 car. They want that car $5,000, $7,000 for whatever. So I'm going to try to hold on to some of them. So you got to come out here before you get that check. I know it's going to be burning in your pocket and you don't want to go to one of the little small lots or somewhere out here and make a quick decision then try to come and trade over here with me. It's hard to hold on to it. So you got to come to Headquarters Nissan. We got so much to offer. We got 
certified pre-owned out here. We got an awesome rental car department. We got a great service department. We take an extended hours. You got to come to headquarters in Nissan. You got to get off that couch. You got to come out here. We got such a great response right now on our certified. We got special assistance. We got on pre-owned cars as low as 1.9% interest rate. We got even rebate on certain pre-owned and we able to match some of that down payment money. So I'm telling you, Bring that rebate money. Bring that money out here for them income taxes and come to headquarters Nissan and we want to hook you up. This is James again. I appreciate it. I'm going to say get off the couch. Come on out here and see us. Come on out to the office sports bar and grill. Whether meeting up with friends, colleagues, or family, you will feel right at home. We have live music from local artists happy hour from 4 to 6 daily, and outstanding daily specials. The Office Sports Bar and Grill is not your typical sports bar. Come eat and drink like a boss. Give your gathering something to gather around. Try catering at Chick-fil-A. And welcome back to Sports Visions. We're at the office. This is where we tape our show. Please join us on Mondays at lunchtime. Of course, we're at 2979 North Lake Parkway, Suite 800 in Columbus, Georgia. If you can see by the lovely uh, dishes right here at the front of the table, that Boss Burger, That's the great right. wings and fries, and Dale, you know, you and I love the, the uh, Cobb salad with uh, shrimp and That's, chicken. That's right. You know, this is a great place to come and watch the game, come and have lunch during the week. Uh, but uh, this, is, this is where we do our show. This is where we do our show. You know, anytime, anytime you want to stop by and have lunch during uh, every Monday, 12.30, 1.30, we'll be right here to sit down and talk to you after we eat now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move it forward now. We talked about the Super Bowl, but let's talk about some individual accolades that came up. I know locally here, the Chattahoochee Valley Sports Hall of Fame uh, just recently inducted uh, several new members, but uh, I want to concentrate on a couple that uh, obviously are near and dear to our heart. Rudy right. Allen, who was an outstanding athlete, uh, one, right. of the, uh, uh, one of the first uh, African-American quarterbacks to play here uh, at, in, at Kendrick High School in the That's city right. as well as he was, from what I understand, it was Eastway Middle School or Eastway Junior High School uh, and the Eastern Little League that he, uh, he was the first to integrate. That's right. That's right, DJ. You know, DJ, uh, Rudy has done a lot of things, he's been a forerunner and a trailblazer, just like his father has done, you know, from the Edgewood days to Kendrick High School. He was their first black quarterback, the coolest quarterback i ever seen, you know, it really I went to see him play as a little boy, cool as a fan, great player. The only bad thing about Rudy, he went to Tech, man. <laughs> you know, Rudy had an opportunity, and not a lot of people know this, but I was at the induction ceremony last week. He said that he accepted or signed or committed to Georgia initially and changed his mind to Georgia Tech. So, you know what, I, I, I give him a few more points because at least he, he, he thought about doing the right thing. But again, uh, you know what, Rudy has had uh, just a tremendous career. That's right. uh, and he's been such an impactful person here in this community as well. I, I mean, just in this community itself, but being socially conscious, you know, his father's always been socially conscious, but being that first black guy opening doors to Kendrick High School, to even Edgewood, Eastern Little League, you know, Really, when you can go play when everybody over there don't look like you, DJ, and still excel, I mean, that is pressure in itself. But, you know, that, that basically, that's Rudy Allen, you know, playing, you know, playing under certain circumstance, even the diabetes piece, DJ. I mean, really, he just need a little adversity for him, and then he's going to shine either way. Bill may mention the diabetes, but that's a health issue, a health issue that came up a little later on in his career. After, of course, uh, playing at Georgia Tech, he had Pepper Rogers to come in, and obviously with the offense that ran the wishbone, Rudy was a drop-back passer and a pro-style passer. That didn't go too well his last two years, however. Uh, he did have an opportunity with the Ch Chicago Bears after his career at Tech, but uh, he over... He, was struck with diabetes, type 2 diabetes, which obviously at that time, you know, they didn't have nowhere near the cures or the, or the medicine that they have now 
as Jay Cutler, who is dealing with that same disease in the uh, National Football League, but they didn't have that. But Rudy, uh, again, congratulations. Another player that I want to talk to you a little bit about, Dale, we should mention, Mo Williams, the outstanding right. running back out of Spencer High School. He came down, of course, uh, had an opportunity to go to Florida, but he chose Kentucky because he actually grew up in Lexington, Kentucky, and uh, went up there as a freshman, started, and was a star in the SEC, and played a lot of years with the uh, – Minnesota Vikings after being drafted. I mean, Mo Williams, I mean, he flew under the radar all his whole career from high school to college, even with the Minnesota Vikings. Excuse me, with the Minnesota Vikings. So Mo, Mo, is, Mo is really well-deserving, and really, even though he flew under the radar, DJ, he's still well-deserving to be a top, a top uh, Hall of Famer. Absolutely. And Scott Miller, again, there are others, but we just want to take this opportunity because these are people that obviously are near and dear to us. Scott Miller, I can remember working with him years ago, some 20 years ago when I came to town uh, in the radio business. And, uh, you know, Scott has been synonymous as the voice of the Columbus State Cougars baseball team and men's and women's basketball teams. And, of course, uh, you know, over 40 years in the business. And uh, for a broadcaster in this area to go in, none are more deserving than Scott. And Scott, and it's good that the Chattahoochee Hall of Fame people are including the media involved in these things because they're so important of basically just promoting those players that have already been inducted, DJ. So it's, it looks real good that the media is involved also. And it was a good look, Dale. It was a great to be there amongst, uh, as of course, it's almost a fraternity, as I, as I say. I, I was inducted as well as my coach, Wallace Davis, in 2004. But we got a chance to see a lot of other people. You know, Otis Sistrunk was there, and uh, the likes of uh, Phil Scoggins, who obviously does a great job with producing the, uh, the video of, of the video presentation. Uh, he was there, and uh, you know, get Bobby Howard, and uh, you go on and on and on. Coach James Patrick, uh, Wallace Davis. These great. It was great to see all of these guys and all of these folks that are synonymous with sports here in the Chattahoochee Valley. Really, without all those names right there, it wouldn't be a Chattahoochee Valley Hall of Fame. But all good people, all impactful people, and all of them were very influential in the grooming of all these athletes. They were already come about, DJ. All right, we'll take a short break. This is Sports Visions. Hey Steve, check out this guy's leg. Yeah, looks like a real nasty moving back in with his parents. What? No, I just broke my leg. No, this is a full-blown move into the basement. You're gonna be out of work. Without that money from Aflac, you might miss your rent. Oh, I just moved out. Bummer, man. Hey, I used to have my own place. Yeah? <laughs> nah, I live with my mom. But it's cool. Health can change, but the life you love doesn't have to. Every remaining 2017 commercial vehicle must go now at Headquarter Nissan. Over 30 vehicles to choose from, all with a lifetime warranty, all priced to sell. Now drive a new cargo van, closeout price just $26,990, or a new compact cargo van, just $18,985. Plus, get a lifetime warranty, identity protection, and much more, all at no extra cost. You feel like you bought from the factory. Give your gathering something to gather around. Try catering at Chick-fil-A. And welcome back to today's final segment of Sports Visions, Dale. You know, all, there's another set of all uh, Hall of Famers that we uh, want to mention as well. But first of all, I want to give a great big shout out to Terrell Owens, finally getting out in after three tries, That's Randy big. Moss, Ray Lewis, and the likes. That, I mean, really, man, these guys right here, these are going to be the millennial guys in the Kids will recognize their name, but the T.O. piece was big. I'm glad they got that right. Randy Moss, of course, he was going to be a first-time uh, first ballot Hall of Famer. Ray Lewis, you got Ray Lewis doing it. Brian Dawkins with the Eagles. Then you got Brian Erlacher who got in. Jerry Kramer, when your old Green Bay Packers <laughs> yes. guy, the original pulling guard. Bobby Bethard, who was a general manager with the Redskins and the L.A. Rams when George Allen was there. So he, he did a great job. Ray Lewis did a good job, and he will be uh, and is a first-time Hall of Famer. All right. I tell you what, man, uh, it's just a tremendous week. Now we got to shift our gears to That's basketball. Right. I know locally the, the region playoffs are underway and soon-to-be state uh, championship playoffs. And, again, uh, football is gone for this season. <laughs> but until the next combine or the next right. coverage of the NFL draft, 
Pro Day. We still have football coming down the down like this spring with uh, college football spring practice. You know what, football is gone, but it's not gone for long. Well, you know, DJ, don't forget, you know, this week, you know, the key is sign and make it official what school they're going to go, what college they're going to go through. I think really, again, we say this every year, the rich continue to get richer. I think Alabama has a good re recruiting class. Georgia has a good one. Auburn, everybody in this area got a good recruiting class. So, hey, we still going to be talking about football players. And congratulations to all the local uh, football players who sign uh, their letters of uh, commitment this week, of course, this past Wednesday on signing day. That's right, man. I mean, really, it's like the rich continue to get richer. And, you know, like I say, if you didn't get picked, that don't mean you can't go play somewhere else, so walk on somewhere. All right. Last but not least, again, we want to remind you that coming up Thursday, April 19th, our third annual Female Athlete of the Year Awards luncheons, and you're going to be able to see a lot of that come your way over the course of the next couple of weeks. So be on the lookout. You've got almost two and a half months to get ready. All right, two and a half months to get ready, DJ. And like we said all through this week, if you want to be involved in our Female Athlete of the Year, Call DJ at 706-681-1136, or you can call Dale Williams at 706-681-5192. Well, that's going to do it for all the time we have for today's show. For Dale Williams, I'm DJ Jones reminding you to keep your eye on the ball. Have a great week. Be sure to check out our Facebook page, Sports Vicious TV Show, or our website, www.sportsvisionsusa.com. Why is Headquarter Nissan number one? Well, that's simple, our value plan. Here, let me explain. With our exclusive value plan, you get a ton of extra value with your purchase at no extra cost. You get a lifetime warranty, plus identity protection, plus theft protection, plus key and remote replacement protection, plus paintless dent repair. We are the number one dealer offering the number one value. You feel like you bought from the factory. Hello everybody, I'm DJ Jones. You might know me from my athletic career at Carver High School at the University of Georgia or my sports broadcasting career. I know a lot of people, but when it comes to an attorney I trust, I call Forrest B. Johnson. I'm Forrest Johnson of Forrest B. Johnson and Associates. And I want to let you know how proud we are to be a part of your community, a part of the Columbus community and the Phoenix, Alabama community. Consider us first. When you or any member of your family has been involved in an automobile accident, remember, car wreck, get a check. Call now, 706-223-5380. Call now. you're gathering something to gather around, try catering at Chick-fil-A. Hey, Steve, check out this guy's leg. Yeah, looks like a real nasty moving back in with his parents. What? No, I just broke my leg. No, this is a full-blown move into the basement. You're going to be out of work. Without that money from Aflac, you might miss your rent. Oh, I just moved out. Bummer, man. Hey, I used to have my own place. Yeah? <laughs> nah, I live with my mom. But it's cool. Health can change, but the life you love doesn't have to.